I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And today I'm going to walk through and show you how to unbrick this smartphone along with the Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Plus. Not only am I going to show you how to unbrick this device, but I'm also going to show you how to return your firmware back to 100% stock Samsung One UI. Now it doesn't matter how your device got into a boot loop. Maybe you installed a root modification that was not compatible or had a bug with the Galaxy S21 series. Maybe you just installed an over-the-air update that has a random bug in it and that's forced your device to not be able to boot into the Android operating system. No matter what the reason was, today's tutorial will show you how to manually flash a 100% stock firmware on the device. So the first thing I actually recommend is that you turn the device off or force the device to reboot. Your smartphone, if it's in a boot loop, it's likely constantly trying to boot into the Android operating system and either restarting on its own or sending you into, say, download mode or recovery mode. But no matter what the issue is, you should know that you can press and hold the power and the volume down button for about 7 to 10 seconds and doing that will force the device to reboot just as you saw there. Now I just wanted to point that out in case your device, like I said, is currently in a boot loop and to start we need to force the device down into a powered off state. So you may need to use that button combination to actually get the device to turn off so that we can actually boot into recovery mode. So either with that trick or by using the power menu, we're going to shut the device down and boot the Galaxy S21 into recovery mode using the USB cable and the power and volume up combination. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, be sure to check the video description as I'll be including a link to that tutorial, as well as links to other required parts of this tutorial, such as where to find Odin, where to download a firmware to flash, and more. Now that you have booted into recovery mode, we can use the volume down button to change which option is currently highlighted. And we're going to want to make sure the wipe data slash factory reset option is highlighted before we press the power button to select that option. Now tapping on the screen is not going to do anything. You need to use the buttons to control this. And from here, we're just going to press the volume down button again, highlight the factory data reset option, and then press the power button again to select that option. And when we do, if you look at the bottom, you should get some information about it wiping the data, meaning that it's formatting the data partition, formatting the cache partition, formatting metadata, and formatting the key refuge partition as well before completing the factory data reset and taking you back to this recovery mode main menu. After you have done the factory data reset, we can test and make and to see if this alone fixed your boot loop issue. And we can do that by making sure the reboot system now option is highlighted and then pressing the power button to select that option. It's going to cause the phone to reboot on its own and then attempt to boot you into the Android operating system. 
That's the first step that I would do in an attempt to fix a boot loop on the Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. Now, if that fixes the issue, that is great, and you can just end the video here. This is not going to uh, fix the issue for everyone, though, and some people are going to need to use download mode in order to flash the firmware files. Using Odin does not require an unlocked bootloader as long as you are only flashing 100% stock official Samsung firmware. And there are a number of places we can download that firmware, such as Sam Mobile, Updato, those are two websites that I've used in the past. There's a revival of the Sam Firm program. I'm currently using the Freya program to download Samsung firmwares. And just as you saw here, it's going to take some time in order to boot back into the Android operating system after you have done a factory data reset. You're just gonna to want to be patient and wait for the device to boot. Now, if you are not able to boot back into Android, then we're gonna to need to try to boot the device into download mode so that we can flash the firmware images with Odin, as I mentioned before. And we're gonna to want to power down the device, again, just like before when we needed to boot into recovery mode. We can use the power and volume down button trick if we need to force the device to reboot and turn off. And we're just booting into download mode right now by holding the volume down buttons while inserting a USB cable when the device is powered off. Again, I'll be linking to a individual tutorial that shows how to boot into download mode in the video description. The goal is to just get us into the actual download mode so that we can flash some images with Odin. Just to give you a heads up, this is the firmware file that I downloaded with the Freya program. This is a compressed file that when extracted will give you a bunch of individual files like this. They start with certain letters, AP, BL, CP, CSC, and then home CSC. This is the firmware that's currently running on your device. And we're gonna use Odin to flash those firmware files to our Samsung Galaxy S21. Now with our smartphone in download mode and with our smartphone connected to the PC with a USB cable, you should see an added message in the log window of Odin. If you don't, then there's likely some type of USB related issue. I would try using a different USB cable. I would try using a different USB port and potentially trying to use a different computer entirely if you are unable to resolve the USB driver issue by installing a program like Samsung Smart Switch, which should get your computer ready for this. So once you see that added message right here, and you one of these windows shows that a device is connected by telling you which COM port it's using, we're then able to start loading these firmware files into Odin, into these slots, so that we can flash them to our device. So all we need to do is click the BL button right here. 
then you're going to want to browse to wherever you have those firmware files and we're going to start loading these up so we click the BL button that means that we load in the file that begins with BL in that slot we then click the CP button and then we load in the file that begins with CP for the CSC button we're going to choose the regular CSC file because we need to erase all of the data on the device so that we can return to 100% stock firmware And then at the end, because it takes Odin so long to actually load that file, we're going to click the AP button and then choose the massive 7 gigabyte file that begins with AP. And like I said, when you add that AP file to Odin, you're going to see Odin go unresponsive for a few seconds while it parses all of the files within that AP file. Because just like we extracted all of these files from this download, this AP file contains a lot of firmware images as well. And it just takes some time for Odin to extract those and get them ready. All right, whenever it starts to respond again, we just want to check that all four of these files are loaded into those slots. Again, our device is detected at a comm slot. Our phone is in download mode and it's connected to the PC with the USB cable. With all of that done, we can then click the start button to begin the unbrick process. Now we're going to get a progress log right here and we can actually see what Odin is currently flashing and installing onto our Galaxy S21 Ultra. These bin files and image files are sent to our device over that USB cable and they're simply copied into the appropriate partition. This super.image is a very big image file. It contains a number of different images. So we're likely going to see Odin not really stuck, but stick or stay at this file for a few minutes. Not only do we have a progress bar right here, but we also have one on the Galaxy S21 Ultra as well, so that we can make sure that it's not stuck or frozen or anything. And we're just going to wait for that green pass message right there in Odin. And when we see that, we should see our Galaxy S21 reboot on its own, unless you unchecked that option. If you did, then you'll need to force the device to reboot using that same method mentioned earlier. And we're going to be patient while the device boots back into Android. Just like the earlier in the video, when we had to wait, after performing the factory data reset before we could try to activate Android again. 
we're going to need to wait the same amount of time after we manually flash those firmware files. So I'm going to skip through the activation process real quick. So we're back into Android. You can see everything has been uninstalled. I no longer have Majisk there. Download Root Checker, I no longer have Root Access. Everything has been returned back to 100% stock firmware on my Samsung Galaxy S21.